I hope you guys don't find that offensive. I thought it was cute because it rhymed and my boyfriend made it up. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. Just a heads up, if you guys hear barking and um, people mowing their lawns outside, it's because I'm in the garage again filming. So today is one of the last days of July, meaning your guys' summer is almost over. So I figured what better way to end off this month than another bathing suit tutorial. So if you guys follow Kendall Jenner on Instagram, then you guys have already seen this photo. So I'm going to kind of recreate something like that. Plus I've been into sporty bathing suits recently, so I thought this one would be perfect to make. Speaking of Instagram, if you guys want to connect with me on social media, all my socials are at the Unava Rose. And yeah, let's get on to this tutorial. For this tutorial, you will need swimsuit material and lining. I'm going to use this material for both my shell and my lining. Quarter inch elastic, a pen and marker, some pins, paper and fabric shears, tracing paper, a ruler, and a bathing suit for fit. What I didn't film is a measuring tape and your spaghetti strap tool. Start by taking a piece of tracing paper, folding that in half, and making a line at the very bottom. Then you want to take your bathing suit top and place it over the line and mark the width. If you're pretty happy with the style of bathing suit that you have, you could pretty much copy and trace that. Or if you guys like the sporty look but do not have a bathing suit like this, then you guys are always welcome to use a sports bra. I'm going to use this bathing suit top as reference since it's pretty similar to Kendall's, except I'm going to make it a little bit taller. My center front is going to be 3.5 inches. So I'm going to copy the curved bust seam that is on my bathing suit top and the way I do that is I kind of just draw it out. I just marked 4 inches from the side seam and then just drew a curve up to the armhole. For the back, all you have to do is flip your piece around and trace the side and the bottom. I'm just using the same design as the front except for I'm bringing it down just a little bit to compensate for the back. Add your quarter inch seam allowance all around your pattern except for the center front and center back and then you can cut out your pattern. For the seam that's in the middle of your top, all you have to do is add seam allowance on either side of the seam so it's going to look somewhat like a street and then I'll show you what to do afterwards. Cut your piece down the center to reveal your back and your front piece. So now that your top will have two pieces, we're going to call the part with the neckline part A and then the part with the side seam we will call part B. So to make part B, all you have to do is place a piece of tracing paper on top, trace the armhole, side seam, bottom, and for the curved seam, you are going to trace the left seam allowance. And for part A, you're going to cut from the original pattern and cut on the right seam allowance. To make the straps, first you have to find out how big your strap opening is. Mine is 3 quarters wide, so my straps will be double that, making it 1.5 inches by 12. 12 is how long I want my straps to be. Add your quarter inch seam allowance and cut this out. For the bottom, square off a piece of tracing paper and place your bottoms on top of it. The line going up and down will be your center front, so align the center of your bathing suit bottoms to that line. Then you want to trace around the front leg opening, and you want to mark where the top of the bathing suit bottoms land. So you guys are more than welcome to leave it as a low rise like this, but I wanted mine to be more of like a mid rise, so I added an inch and a half on top of that mark. So because I added a little bit more of a rise, I'm going to bring my bathing suit bottoms up to that new point and mark where the new side seams are going to be. From there, I started to sketch out a diagonal from the center front to the side seam, making it more of a V because pretty much that's what we are trying to accomplish here. And from there, the bottom straps, I made an inch and a quarter. So I marked that and started to blend that in with the front leg opening. Once you add your seam allowance, you can get started on the back of your bottoms. For the bottoms, all you have to do is place a piece of tracing paper on top and trace out the center front, the bottom, and the side seam. 
So I'm not going to make the top of the bathing suit too much of a V since it is my back side. So I'm going to make the center back a little bit longer. So I'm going to make the leg opening a little bit smaller because I do not want my butt to be showing like crazy. So I'm going to add some more fabric on that area. Add your quarter inch seam allowance and cut this out. So these are all the pieces that you should have. You should have your front and back bathing suit bottoms, part A and part B for your top, the back portion of your top, and your strap. You can now cut your patterns out of your material. So for your part B top, you're going to have two pieces of your shell and two pieces of your lining. And for your straps, you only need two pieces of your shell. Everything else, you will need one piece of your shell and one piece of your lining. Okay guys, can we just take a moment to appreciate this wonderful fabric? It's just so colorful and sparkly and it's something I wouldn't normally get, but I was just so drawn to it, I had to have it. If this doesn't scream WeHo, I don't know what does. So any of my gay friends out there, if you guys want anything made in this material, let me know because I have so much left over. Ooh, don't tell me this doesn't look like the rainbow sour belts. Yes! To start off, fold your straps in half and sew a straight stitch down one edge. Then take your spaghetti strap tool and invert them. Take part B and pin it to the edge of part A. Then sew down with a straight stitch to finish off the front. Place your back piece on top of your front piece with the right sides kissing and sew down one side of the side seam. So you guys don't want to really follow the video for this part because I totally messed up and I sewed both side seams. But trust me, only sew one side seam. You'll see me fix it later on in this video. Fit your shell top over your lining top with the right sides kissing. Then pin both of the pieces together along the top and the bottom. Using a zigzag stitch, sew along the top and the bottom, leaving the strap areas open. Sew the elastic to the bottom seam allowance with a zigzag stitch. You want to stretch out the elastic just a little bit while you're sewing. So this is where I'm trying to fix my mistake. You guys can see me trying to unstitch one end of the side seam. So remember to only sew one side. Now you can turn your top right side out and we're going to try to sew the side seam from the inside. So grab the two edges and sew as much side seam as you guys can. The more side seam you sew, the smaller the hole will get, so try to do as much as you can. So once you guys invert it, it should show what side seam opening you have left. If you guys did it correctly, you should only have a side seam slit. But mine looks like a hot ass mess because I had to unstitch it and the top stitching was coming loose. So it just looks really crazy. But I promise you guys, it will not look like mine. So go ahead and close up the side seam opening so we can get onto the strap. So to prep the strap openings, I like to stick my finger inside, that way it can fold in all the edges. Then go ahead and take your straps and slip them in and sew them down with a straight stitch. Place the front of the bathing suit bottoms over the back with the right sides kissing and sew along the crotch seam. Place the shell on top of the lining with the right sides kissing and sew along the leg opening and the top of the front and back pieces, leaving the side seams open. Repeat the same process as you did with the top where you sew the elastic to the seam allowance. Go ahead and invert your bottoms and finish off the edges. So I really wanted this bathing suit set to have that kind of seamless effect. So I decided to iron the edges, but if you're not looking for something like that, then you guys can always do a zigzag top stitch all along the edges. 
Flip your bathing suit bottom so that the right sides are kissing and sew down the side seam with a straight stitch. Because there is seam allowance showing, I decided to use a zigzag stitch to finish it off. And once you're finished, you are completely done with your new bathing suit bottoms. This bathing suit set totally reminds me of the 80s. I don't know if it's because of the color and the loud obnoxiousness of this material or the high waist, high leg bottoms, but I absolutely love it. After I did the little pool shot, I actually went swimming in them right after and I was so obsessed that I might actually make this in multiple colors. for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did please give it a thumbs up because that really helps me out if you guys are new to this channel and want to see more fashion videos like this don't forget to subscribe on that note i really want to thank all the new and old subbies that have subscribed to this channel we just hit 30k today which is really exciting so um i'm so grateful for you guys and i love each and every one of you guys i wish i could give you guys a big hug so here's my big over the internet hug um thank you guys for always watching the videos and supporting and commenting and yeah you guys are so awesome it's like I have a bunch of new friends which I need friends out here I don't have friends really in this area with that said that's all I have for this video and I will see you guys in the next one bye